So, do you know what the step response of an RC circuit is? And can you draw it? Today we're going through exercise 1.16 from the Art of Electronics. And in this exercise, uh, we're looking at capacitor rise time. Exercise 1.16 asks you to show that the rise time of an RC circuit is equal to 2.2 times the resistance times the capacitance when you apply a step input. A step input is basically an input that goes from 0 to 1 uh, volts. So let's go through this exercise step by step. The book in equation 1.21 gives us the voltage output at different times when you have an RC circuit, which is given by this equation here. So V out is equal to the final voltage. So in this case, that would be one volt. And in brackets, you have one minus E to the power of minus T over RC. So using this equation, we, can, we need to calculate the output voltage at 0 0.1 final voltage and 0 0.9 final voltage. 0 0.1 and 0 0.9 are given to us by the question. So the rise time in the book is defined as the time taken for the output to get from 10% of the final value to 90% of the final value. So putting these numbers in, um, V out is equal to 0 0.1 times the final, final voltage is equal to the equation that we have here. We know that Vf is equal to 1, so the equation can be simplified to 0 0.1 equals 1 minus E time uh, to the power of minus T over RC. Now bringing um, 1 over to the other side, we get 0 0.1 minus 1 equals minus E to the power of minus T over RC from here. Now, if you remove the minus signs from both sides by multiplying by times 1, we get 0 0.9 is equal to e times uh, e to the power of minus t rc. Taking the natural log on both sides, we get rid of the exponential. So we got natural log of 0 0.9 is equal to minus t over rc. And now, um, Rearranging the equation so that we have t by itself, get minus rc, natural log of 0 0.9 is equal to t. Now, going through the same steps for the 90% of final voltage, we basically replace this 0 0.1 over here with 0 0.9 and go through the same steps. So now we have minus RC, natural log of 0 0.1 is equal to T. Both of these T's, so you've got T1, and so that's, that's T2, and that's T1. So we've got 0 0.9 over here and 0 0.1 natural log over here. They both share minus RC, so we can factorize that out. So we've got minus RC in brackets, ln01, so natural log of 0, 01 minus natural log of 0, 0.9. This gives us a rise time or the time difference between 90% and 10% as equal to minus RC times minus 2.2. Minus times a minus becomes a positive, so we get 2.2 RC. And that's the solution to the question that we have here. Let's simulate the circuit to see how it works. Um, so we have a step input voltage source here, which I've um, based, I'm using LT spies to do the simulation. I have a voltage source V1, which I've defined as a pulse input with zero volts initial and V one volt V on. I have made the rise time on this simulation very quick and set the times for the rise and the fall to one picosecond. And I have defined T on as 10 seconds, which is the time the signal, the pulse will stay on. 
and the period of the pulse is 20 seconds. So the signal will be on for roughly 50% uh, of the duty cycle. From the question, we know um, that our equation is roughly 2.2 times R, R times C. So I've, um, for R and C, I've put down values of 1 mega ohm and 1 microfarad, respectively. So you can see that the mega, so the six zeros over here, and the 0 0.0000001 microfarad will cancel it with each other leaving you with um, an RC value of 1. So then you get 1 times 2.2. So the rise time of this circuit, according to that equation, should be 2.2. So that's the time taken to get from 10% to 90% of the final voltage, which in this case is 1 volt. So let's simulate the circuit and see what happens. You can see the simulation time is a bit short, so I'm going to increase that to 25 seconds. With 25 seconds, you can see we have got uh, roughly two pulses. So you can see the input voltage on the blue line here. And you can see the output voltage, which is this point here on the, on the green line. You can see that um, this is a pretty typical RC response curve now we can bring in um markers on lt spice by clicking on the signal name so we've got two markers on this so i'm going to grab these markers and take them roughly to 100 millivolts and 900 millivolts so you can see my marker one is at roughly 100 millivolts and my marker two is roughly at 900 millivolts and you've got the two time placements for the marker down here so you've got 108 milliseconds and 2.3 seconds here the difference between the two points is 2.2 seconds so this simulation basically shows us that the equation is accurate. Obviously, it's, it is a rough approximation as it's not going to be 100% accurate. But the rise time from 10% to 90% of an RC circuit is roughly 2.2 times R times C.